here we have two distributors, the older gen uh, D16 and the newer B18 which is going to be the one we want for this engine. So the main differences are um, one of dimension, so if I put them both like that, you can see that this has got a longer um, bottom arm uh, than, than this and some people do this uh, cowboy job of cutting that off then it's only mounted to two bolts, apparently it works okay, I'm not going to go down that route. Um, so I think you can actually see there's a bit of difference in how it locates into the cam as well. So uh, just I would just use the correct one for the job. So then if we open up our B18, um, one thing as well before I go forward is you can see the connectors are different. So this is the um, OBD1 uh, style connector and that's the OBD0 which is two uh, connectors on there. So here we've got some uh, NGK Iridium um, 9 I guess, 1X, this would be 9. Um, so you hear this is the part number on the bottom um, there. So if we just put them in one by one. I've got this nice little T handle I often use for this. Um, 10 mil draper tool here. It says it's 1402-10mm, that's what it's stating. So just uh, drop each of these in. What I often do here is wind it anti-clockwise and you can feel it drop down and that's just the, um, the first coil going down into the groove and then I start tightening up and that avoids uh, cross-threading. So then we just tighten up if it feels tight in any way, just stop, because the last thing you want to do at this stage is cross-thread uh, your head. You'll be absolutely done for. So, and this nice thing about this T-handle, you can't put too much torque on it. And then we just go through again, um, drop the next one down, and so on, and just complete that for all four. So this is the distributor for the B18C4. You can see it's got this single plug style. Um, what I'm going to do is take out the rotor arm and the dizzy cap and replace the seal that comes with it as well. The parts I'm going to need are the rotor arm. So you can see there we have it. And this is just a blueprint one, um, so it's just from your normal parts store. This is the rotor cap that comes with the seal and the three bolts you need as well. First of all, take off the old um, rotor cap. Um, so here we have um, just an eight mil uh, single hex socket. So I'm gonna just put on here. And we can just unwind it. the three bolts. And take the rotor cap off. Easy cap. Um, so then we have the arm that's exposed and then you can see in the back there's a posi drive um, screw that holds it on and a little um, opening so you want to line that up uh, so you can get the screwdriver down. So just grab that. So then we get the positive drive in. Be careful here not to slip. So you just push down quite hard, then turn. out. That's the little screw. Sometimes they're uh, Allen bolts, in this case this is a screw. Then we can just ease the rotor cap off. And that's it. Then we get our new rotor cap, which is this. Grab it out of the box. You want to make sure you've lined up 
the hole um, to uh, to this opening so you can get the screwdriver again and then just simple as this you see there's a flat bit on the back here which corresponds to the flat bit on the back of the spindle so you just line these two up slide it over then you'll notice there's the hole which you need to put the screw back into so simply just get the screw be careful not to drop it line that up just tighten that down Make sure it's tight, that's good, it's not hitting on anything. Then I can simply get the cap that I'm ready to install, but first of all, it's the new cap, it's the old cap I'll put that to one side. And then I have the new seal and the three screws. So what I'm going to do is pick out the old seal here and then I'll grab a little screwdriver for that. So here I just take out the seal. Should come without too much of a fight I'm hoping. There we go. That's the new part. And then just place it round the, the rim of this. So here's, you see the seals the whole way in. Then just place the new cap on, get your screws, drop them in, all the way around. And just do up the three bolts. I like to do it with the eight mil ratchet. Mental, it's only plastic, but you can't really get any purchase on flathead. It's good, good, All right? Ready to be fitted now. So, now back onto the engine, you'll notice there's a line on this side of the distributor. So, what you need to do is line that up with the larger side of the um, inlet cam. So, you can see here the lower part is slightly longer from the center to the edge than the top part so what you need to do is get this part here the longer side going towards the bottom so I line that up around there and then these legs are going to stick in to the hole that's available so what I can do is as wants to be around there or something like this and you can just ease it into position as so and then we have three uh, bolts so here it's a 12 mm head then you just want to 
screw them in. The timing can be adjusted later, but one of the big clues here is there's a witness mark at the top. So if I just get it up a little bit here, so there's a witness mark on the, um, the body of the distributor. So it's probably a good idea to place this in here in a similar way. So then, although I'm going to do the timing with the light later, that at least, so you can see there's the witness mark, the washer goes on. I'll do the timing later, but at least I'll be in the right realm and it will probably run reasonably so I actually sort out the timing for, for definite. Then come in with my 12mm deep socket for the bottom two and then the 12mm um, spanner for the top and just do them up tight. These nice 8mm HT leads to fit, so the best thing to do is put them all straight in your hand like that, see which one's longest, and then put that in the furthest away spark plug, so that's for cylinder 1 which is furthest away from me. So when you push these in, you should just feel a nice solid click. And then uh, just make sure the whole thing's seated. Looking at the engine, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you should connect these in this order. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 1, 2, 3, 4. So you just push them on like this. And you should feel a click. Just place the spark plug cover on. And then just use these little uh, washers and the round head nuts. And then just place them on like that. And do them up with a, a 10mm socket, just evenly, not too tight. And one thing also you notice is I have this little cover for the solenoid. It makes no difference, but um, it looks quite nice and will go with the colour scheme of the engine.